Hi friends. Um, very beautiful place I'm in at the moment. Bluebells everywhere. Um, just wanted to talk to you about how many Christians, and I believe they're genuine Christians, spend a lot of their time, if not most of their time, exposing other people or exposing doctrines of other people. And while while that can be helpful for new believers who don't know the scriptures, I was just kind of thinking about how it's... Um, well, I've been ill for the last couple of days and I've spent a lot of time reading the Bible. And to be honest with you, it's all there. It's all there. It's so edifying. Um, if you read it for yourself, not only do you... Um, be edified um, greatly purely by the Holy Spirit who's working through those words and guiding you personally within you to know what's right and wrong, to know what the, the way of truth is. But also, you can't take anybody else's word for it. You know, it's good to have a general scope of everybody's opinion. Um, in order to kind of know where you stand on certain issues. The obvious one is Calvinism and Armenianism. But, um, and, and other doctrinal issues that, you know, maybe do have uh, an importance. But at the end of the day, if you're reading scripture and you're being edified personally, other people's opinions are secondary to what the Holy Spirit is revealing to you. And this is the thing I've discovered with charismatic people who are very interesting to listen to. Uh, they speak very well, yet they don't have a firm grasp of the scriptures and without that firm grasp of the scriptures and without God's grace that's the other thing they're so certain they're right you know so certain that they will condemn other people and it's like for me while these doctrinal issues are important if one is reading the scriptures for themselves they cannot fail to be enlightened I suppose by God himself you know if you're seeking God and most people they say they're seeking God but Romans 3 tells us that no, no one seeks God you know no one's looking for him now you might say you are but what are you actually looking for because you can be looking for his peace, you can be looking for his hand in any given situation to move in power to help you. But are you seeking him? And this is the thing, when you read scripture for yourself, in depth, large doses of it um, at a time, you commune, you commune with the Holy Spirit. And he reveals himself to you, you know. Um, now, it's not to say that he can't speak through other people, because surely he can. Um, but many people kind of idolise what other people, especially charismatic leaders, say. Whereas they should be getting their direct influence from the revelation of scripture as they read it. If they're wrong or right, um, the Lord will lead them into righteousness. That's what he does. So it's a bit of a revelation. Look, more bluebells. So pretty. Um, bit of a revelation to kind of, let's just lay off YouTube a bit. You know, I would rather you switch off this video right now 
and go and read scripture for yourself. Why are you even listening to me? Go and talk to God. You know, this scripture is how God deals with us, you know. And, uh, you know, I haven't got all the answers, but all the answers we need are in scripture. And it's by studying it and with the wisdom and revelation of the Holy Spirit that we can rightly divide it for our edification and for our inspiration as well. So I guess my exhortation to you is, you know, it's nice to have people who seem mature in the Lord, who can help you along your walk. But really, you need to be looking directly to God. You need to be seeking God, not for the gifts that he gives so much as himself. You want to know him personally, like I do. And even if he doesn't give you gifts, you can know him personally. Like a child knows their father, you know? Um, so, it's a short message, but I hope it's an edifying one. Go and read the Bible, and read a lot of it, you know? Yesterday I read Galatians, Ephesians, and 2 Corinthians all in one go, pretty much. And it was amazing. It was like I'd never read them before, and how many times have I read them? God's revealing new things to me, and it's so edifying, and I want that for you too. So have a lovely day, it's such a lovely day here. Summer has come, praise the Lord, see you soon.